What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Unhinged Talk. As usual, I'm your host, Patrick Hennessy. Tonight, I'm joined by Brian DeGennaro, and we have a very special guest tonight. We have Chris Denner of Dugout Mugs. How are we all doing tonight? Good. Doing good, bro. Thanks for having me on. Of course. We're very excited to have Chris on tonight. Um, he is the CEO of Dugout Mugs. Um, if you don't know them, they make awesome mugs. Mugs made out of baseball bats. You could see them all behind Chris's head. Um, he has a very special live event on Tuesday, July 21st, with the greatest closer of all time, Hall of Famer, Yankee legend, Mariano Rivera, where you could ask Mariano questions. And if he, if he is asked one of your questions, you receive a free dugout mug. Chris, you want to tell us a little bit about that event, how you connect with Rivera, uh, what fans should be expecting out of that? Yeah, man. Um, well, obviously, you can imagine we're pretty pumped about it. Um, Mariano's, uh, he's an amazing guy, um, yeah. honestly. And and I met him a, a few years ago, whenever Dugout Mugs was just getting rolling. I met him in Tampa, and we had a, a, a you know great conversation, and, and our mugs were the centerpieces at his event, and for all his golfers and things like that, it was a golf event. And uh, later that night, I run. this was crazy, and I'm going to bring it up to him on the event. I actually gave him a ride home that night. Cause he lived in the golf community where we were going to, where the event was going on. And then he was like, I was leaving. I was driving out of the parking lot to go home and he was sneaking out the back door. And I'm, I was like, Mo, what are you doing, man? He's like, I'm just going to walk to my house. It's right around the corner. He was just cutting out. I think he was done. Yeah. And I was like, nah, dude, get in. So, you know, for, at the, at risk of looking like a creeper, uh, he jumped in and I gave him a ride to his house and I was just, just, just shooting the shit with him. He's a great guy. Um, really humble, uh, really kind, you know, just family, the members I met were amazing. And it just kind of, it kind of, we stayed in touch lightly over the last couple of years and dugout mugs has just been skyrocketing. And um, the one year anniversary of the only unanimous induction was happening. And, you know, one thing led to another and he said, Hey, let's, let's do a Mariana Rivera collection where we do a lot of like, uh, we have uh, actually dugoutmugs.com forward slash Mariano. You'll see them all. They're amazing designs. We did it with his team. And he decided and he agreed to come on for a half hour and just wrap with us on our social media and awesome. just talk about like, you know, uh, some of the questions. We have hundreds of questions submitted so far. We're going to pick probably 15. Um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Um, awesome. And he's just going to answer questions from fans. Uh, I, think, I think we're submitting questions until noon tomorrow so okay so that would, would be probably, monday yeah so text i think it's a dugoutmugs.com forward slash ask mo go to that link but from a from your phone and what it'll do is it'll text the word mo 42 to our to our text number and then it'll reply back and then you can respond with your question so that's awesome. um yeah that, that's it's gonna be a lot of fun even if you don't get your question i mean listening to mo just talk about stuff that nobody's yeah. ever heard or 100 you know, some of his pre-game routines and things like that it's gonna be pretty sick yeah, he's got a lot of very stories. Rare. yeah yeah i mean mo doesn't really do <clears throat> interviews often especially no. live ones uh, that's that's really a treat and the fans themselves have the opportunity to ask him questions so that's something that's yeah. extremely unique. But yeah. another thing that's extremely unique about this whole adventure between you and Mo is with the mugs that you guys are going to be selling, uh, 50% of all the proceeds are going to be going to the Mariana Rivera Foundation. So that is correct. It, yep. it's a tremendous thing on both sides. Yeah. So um, I had an opportunity. I was up in uh, New York visiting um, uh, Brandon Steiner. I went over to Steiner Sports and uh, did a meeting at a meeting there and it was in New Rochelle and uh, Mo has a church. He built a church over there. So I had an opportunity to where go I live. check the church <laughs> out. And uh, yeah, what's that? You, that's where, you where live. I live. It's down the block from me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I had a chance to go check out the church and he's building a huge learning center right next door to the church. And that's what they're looking wow. to raise money for. And I thought this was a great opportunity to collab with him again. Uh, Yankees fans love us. Um, you know, we're, you know, for everywhere from the stadium to the different podcasts and things like that. And I was like, Mo, we should do this. And, you know, he agreed. So yeah, really excited. I think we're going to do really well and help a lot of kids. So for sure, for sure. Um, so once the Rivera live event passes, do you guys have any other events lined up with any other former players? Yeah. So, um, I'm not really a podcast guy, right. But I may mm -hmm. have accidentally started a podcast here because, <laughs> yeah. What, what happened is, uh, you know, we work with Ozzie Smith and Pudge Rodriguez and Chipper Jones, and we work with a lot of those guys. And when Mo says, yeah, I'll jump on with you, 
I mean, who's going to say no? Really, yeah. at that point, you're amongst yeah. amazing company. So um, I'm hoping to have Pudge on the following week. He's got some amazing stuff going on. He's got Pudge 13, uh, or, or no, uh, Pudge 7 his charity. And then he's got Pudge's Pizza going on down in Puerto Rico right now. We're making wow. all the mugs for uh, Pudge's Pizza, which is cool. Um, El Mayor, which is a tequila brand. He's got uh, 13 gold beers. So he's got his own beer line. Wow. So he's really cool. You probably he's didn't busy. know any of that. <laughs> so he's killing it. Well, he's having fun outside the game and he's keeping yeah. it. He's keeping his heart close to the game, which is cool. And then uh, Ozzy Smith, he's huge in golf and, and raising money through uh, that kind of stuff up in St. Louis. So, um, and then a good buddy of ours, uh, David Mickey Evans, the guy that wrote, directed, and narrated The Sandlot. Um, David, we work great with David. So I'm talking to him and I'm going to try to get ham on, uh, smalls and, you know, some of these guys they are doing their, their rounds 27 years later, you know, they're still kind of hanging out and they got some fun stories, man. Um, yeah. if you guys, have you seen that mug yet? That one we did for the Sandlot? Vera? For Sandlot. Oh no, oh. I haven't seen the Sandlot one. Oh dude. Okay. At some point, check out dugoutmugs.com forward slash legends never die. It's okay, nuts. Definitely. I'm going to throw nuts. it up on the screen. <laughs> yeah. So it wraps around. We did a 360 of this picture right here. We did a 360 that wraps around the whole mug. Oh, this wow. Photo. That's sick. Awesome. And, <laughs> and as a gift inside, we surprise everybody with an autographed photo by David inside wow. every mug. So That's the guy wow. that wrote, directed, and narrated. And you talk to this guy on the phone. I mean, it sounds like you're listening to the movie. It's hilarious. <laughs> so, well, I mean, yeah, you can really have to do a lot of that with them as well. <laughs> yeah, he agreed to come on too. So I might have accidentally started a podcast. I guess <laughs> That's I how the greatest the podcasters started, right? <laughs> yeah. Whatever, man. We like we like being out there. So it might yeah. be fun. We'll see. Yeah. Don't judge my cup though right now. I, I'm not drinking out of any of these. <laughs> yeah, how are you not drinking out of one? You have to be drinking out of the Mo one. No, no, this is autographed by Mo, bro. <laughs> you can't drink out of that. Are you crazy? <laughs> yeah, these are Priceless. these are my uh I would I would say probably a third of the people that buy our stuff they don't even drink out of them, man. It, it's just it's just show. Yeah, it's like a collectible. Yeah. It's super cool, yeah, like on a sure. desk in an office or something. Yeah. Yeah. So speaking of the mugs themselves, um, past the events, past the players you guys work with, um, how did the whole idea start? Where did the concept come from, and how was it kind of put into action? So my my business partner Randall Thompson uh, used to play. He used to play for the Blue Jays organization. You know, he got fairly far along didn't make the bigs uh, and he got cut and it was back to the drawing board and, and, and if you ever meet randall i mean just a wonderful human yeah. and really creative and just odd the way he thinks about things which is super cool right that's a, what a creator does and he had envisioned this bat and it was cut in half uh, it, it was a coach at a you know florida tech and and saw a bat cut in half and looked at the barrel and he's like oh i wonder if i could drink out of that <laughs> so anyway fast forward a long time um there's ups and downs and things along the way but he had this idea and he wanted to know what to do with it and uh he had done fairly well he sold a handful of them you know 50 or 60 or 70 uh, 60 or seventy thousand dollars worth and then i met him in the end of 2016 and he's like hey man i got this idea and i want to take it to the top and i said well dude i'd love to take an idea to the top that's you know i, I have a i've had a handful of businesses along the way and that's one of my favorite things to do is take something that's working and make it work better. So um, Randall and I kind of linked up and January 1st, New Year's Day, uh, we inked it. And that was 2017. And, you know, my I, I got a knack for, you know, marketing and, and promo. And I got a pretty cool network that I was able to lean into. And we took it, we took it to the top, man. We're in like, 110 stadiums now, including 29 of the 30 MLB, some minor league clubs, hoping they're still going to be around, but you know, they're, they're really dealing with it. But then uh, we're in five different countries right now, which is really awesome. sweet. Um, yeah, it's wild. It's a, it's a really fun ride. But the cool thing is we've all, we've all been able to stay really down to earth about it. Like our yeah. whole organization is mostly baseball players. Um, this one kid blaze, he's uh, Roger Maris's grandson. He works wow. for a, yeah, and then like a couple pitchers, a shortstop, and, and it's just – it's cool. It's like a dugout, really. Yeah. Yeah. I think what the next step for you guys needs to be is getting the mugs actually in MLB dugouts. If we could see like Aaron Judge sipping his Gatorade in the that's dugout awesome. from a dugout yeah. mug, that's exactly what we need in life. Dude, I would be so content. I would <laughs> – 
I, I will figure that out for you. I will, I will, <laughs> if you can make it happen, I need some credit. No, so get, I will. <laughs> I'll tag them. But you know, the worst thing is I had them in the locker rooms for uh, World Series. So whenever wow. the, the last game, and so we worked with the Astros a lot and some stuff and um, the Nationals as well. So we had them in the locker room um, last, uh, whatever, last year. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, and the, uh, the, the Nationals weren't able to get them to the guys in the locker room. But if you look, if you look at any of the um, – parade on the top of all the floats and buses all the guys are drinking out of dugout mugs when they're on stage getting the wow. trophy they're posing with a mug and a trophy <laughs> it was pretty wild wow. that's so, awesome for sure yeah getting them in game that's tough because <laughs> you never know man yeah. guardy might start throwing them out to the yeah you never know <laughs> <something crazy. laughs> definitely <laughs> could be my name's on them. <laughs> yeah. and then i don't want to be attached to that idea yeah, maybe yeah, not I'll the be, best idea i'll that. be sure yeah. to tag you on that one bro <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah regardless um you don't have to give us any product development secrets here but um i know you guys currently have have the mugs uh you have the shot glasses you have the bottle yep. openers are there any other product ideas that you guys have in mind heading for the future yes um we have a handful of patents a handful of trademarks um currently we have the dugout mug and then we have the wind up which is a, a six ounce wine mug Mm. hugely popular for female fans they love it um then we have the uh shot glass and we have the uh the season opener which is the bottle opener Um, we have a patented tray that we have um there's baseballs cut in half called the cutter and it's a half baseball bottle opener we have some cork coasters uh we we rolled out a baseball board game uh, during all this chaos, this quarantine right now. And we did really well with that. It's a dice game where you play it. People are just turning it into a drinking game, you know, or they're just <laughs> around the house. So we've yeah. done some fun stuff like that. we got some, some cool wine products in the mix right now. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Um, on so stuff. I know you mentioned that the dugout mugs were available in MLB stadiums. Are they available yeah. in all stadiums for every team or is it just a few at this point? Uh, no, uh, the only one that's not is uh, down the Marlins, um, okay. which I mean, if they decide to bring us in, they can, but all the, all the uh, major stadiums, major um, baseball towns, they carry our stuff in the stadiums yeah. and also, you know, in and around, you know, the lids yeah. and the fanatics and, um, rally house and olympia and all these things they're even yeah. carrying them in high v now uh through the, yeah. through the midwest i, I never everywhere. heard of it but i, I guess yeah, yeah it's a grocery store that's a high oh, okay. grocery store, but it, yeah it's getting a lot of distribution in like those types of stores but uh mm-hmm. from a stadium perspective we're in 29 of the 30 so yeah it's a pretty good start so marlins if you're listening get on yeah. this i mean that come on what are you guys doing what are you guys doing <laughs> um <laughs> other money is allocated to bringing in more talent yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's doing too well, but sorry, Marlins. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's definitely an awesome concept. I was telling you before this that it's just one of those things where it just seems like it's so simple, but it's so unique at the same time. It's like, who would have ever thought to use a baseball mat to drink out of it? And it just shows the creativity of your business partner, Randall. Yeah. Um, so as of now, uh, since stadiums aren't really open to fans this season, uh, like you mentioned, available in major distributors all over. You guys could definitely go check it out on his website as well. Yep. Um, Mariano Rivera live stream on Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern yeah, time. Tuesday at 7 p.m. And it's going to be on Facebook Live and Instagram Live. So if you're on either one of those, just just find Dugout Mugs. Maybe you can put a link up. But um, yeah, for sure. we're going to go live. Turn on notifications so you get a heads up in case you forget it's going to be a fun event. We're going to be given, I mean, we're giving stuff away. I, I mean, I'm going to talk to Mo tomorrow. Um, see, maybe we'll, maybe we'll get some autograph stuff and give some autograph stuff away. I know the fans be awesome. love that. For um, sure. Yeah. It's going to be a cool fun event and raising sure. money. Um, uh, the mugs are available on the site right now. If anybody buys any of those, you know, it's going, yep. it's helping the, the foundation for sure. Yep. And this, uh, this episode is going to be going up on Monday. So that means that you guys only have a few hours left to submit your questions for Rivera. Um, if one of your questions is asked, you do receive a free dugout mug. So be sure to ask. We'll leave a link in the description. So you click on that link. 
Um, I believe you have to text Mo42. Yeah, so if yeah. just from, from a smartphone, go to dugoutmugs.com forward slash ask Mo. And we already got it automated where it'll open into your text messages. Awesome. And auto-populate the thing. It's ready to roll. Awesome. And once again, 50% of all the proceeds go to the Mariana Rivera Foundation. Great cause. Go support it. Uh, go purchase a mug. Great company. Great quality. Great people. Um, Chris, uh, I believe that's all we have for you tonight. Um, if there's awesome. anything else you want to say, uh, no, go for it. I- you know, let's let's enjoy you know a short but good season. Hopefully, for sure. I, mean, I think the Yankees are stacked. They got a great team. You, John Carlos looking strong. Um, uh, you know, Judge is always looking like a beast. Garrett, I'm really yeah. excited to see what Cole Cole can do. Um, he's quiet, but he's dangerous, man. So, oh yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> it's, gonna be, it's gonna be cool. I mean, yeah. he's no Mario Rivera, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no one is. No one is. Exactly. <laughs> on that note, on that note, stay tuned Tuesday. Uh, definitely go check out the live stream, and we will see you guys next time. Have a good night. All right. Thanks for having me, guys.